right. Hi, everybody. Wow, we have people here from all over the city. Hi, my name is London Breed. I'm mayor of the city and county of San Francisco. And today, I'm joined by president of the Board of Supervisors and District 10 Supervisor, Malia Cohen. This is her district. And the perfect place to make such an amazing announcement. We all here love San Francisco. And many of the people behind me are folks who are part of communities from across the city. People who have taken their personal time to volunteer to make our city more beautiful. To provide feedback to the city and county of San Francisco about what we need to do to make our communities cleaner, to make them safer, to make them more vibrant. And part of the announcement today is that we are committed to making an additional investment of $725,000 to help in that effort. Now, I don't know about you, but if one more person asks me for a big belly trash can, <laughs> today we're going to have big belly trash cans. We're going to have more pedestrian lighting. We're going to do more to make sure that we hire more formerly homeless individuals to help clean up our streets and our communities. <laughs> more fencing to protect certain areas. You know, part of the responsibility of making our city more vibrant is we all have to roll up our sleeves and take responsibility. And the city has to make the right investments so that we can get to a better place. It doesn't feel good to see the trash and all the other things litter our streets. We want clean communities. We want safe communities. We want vibrant communities. Isn't that right, Mr. Clean? <laughs> so this investment in Fix It is going to be something that we hope will enhance the beauty of our city. Downtown corridors and the mission in the Haight-Ashbury community all over our city, right here in Petrel Hill and the Dog Patch neighborhoods and the Bayview Hunters Point communities, places where we can make a small investment that will have a significant impact. That's what today is all about, getting to a better place. During the campaign, all I heard from people all over the city is clean up the city, clean up the city. Well, I'm not going to clean up the city by myself. <laughs> All of you are an important part of helping us to clean up this beautiful city. And so not only are we going to clean it up, we're going to keep it that way. And we're going to make sure we all play an important role in doing that. And so I am just excited to be here today to talk about this investment. And at this time, I want to take this opportunity uh, to introduce your leader of this particular amazing District 10, President of the Board of Supervisors, Malia Cohen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to admit, now that London has become mayor, now District 10 is so amazing and so wonderful. <laughs> To, to be fair, when she was the supervisor of District 5, there was a, 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 a rivalry between which district was the best. But now that she's the mayor of the entire city, every district is the best. So I want to applaud Mayor Reed for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you guys are excited to be here because, you know, I think um, on a surface value, <laughs> on a surface look, $725,000 may not sound like a lot of money. but to the Fix-It team, it actually doubles their budget. It doubles the size of their budget. And just to, to give this, this team some context, it started two years ago when Mayor Lee was also walking around the city and just saw how filthy the city was and got together with uh, Mohammed New, who's the director of Publix Works, and they put their brains together and they came up with the Fix-It team. And the Fix-It team was on a shoestring budget, quite frankly, just enough to pay people to do the work. And I want to at this point acknowledge Sandra Zuniaga, who has been incredible. This is the woman, this is the go-to woman that we all call. When Muhammad is not available, the second call is definitely Sandra. And as you can see, 
from the neighborhood and the neighborhood response, this is an incredible, incredible um, asset and treasure to San Francisco. So I just want to say thank you very much, Sandra. Um, I love, I love uh, being the supervisor for District 10. It's one of the most dynamic districts. It's, it's, it's a place that I grew up in and it's a place that I call home and my family calls home. And so when I am walking, on, uh, walking the streets or riding on the bus or driving, it does break my heart to see the trash and the litter. It breaks my heart to see young generations just trashing uh, soda cans. You know I hate soda. <laughs> you know I have a thing against soda. <laughs> and and on, in paper chi in paper bag chips, uh, paper bags. Um, uh, and and so I just wanted to to recognize that these fat belly cans. We kind of say it in jest. But it actually will make a difference, Madam Mayor. Thank you so much. And I want to also close in, 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 in my remarks by saying as I ser served as the budget chair. And this was my second year of service. And I had an opportunity to oversee an $11 billion budget. And this particular year's budget process was different. We, we passed a series of resolutions stating where our policy goals were going to be. So. The purpose of that was to, to take out the politics, that sometimes it fuses itself in the budget, but to stay more focused on the policy. And this policy discussion, without a doubt, the Fix-It Team priorities rose above any and every single policy that you heard, homelessness and clean streets. And so it is a great privilege to be here. And you know what? It's another privilege to recognize a fantastic community organizer by the name of Bruce Huey. He is the Dean of the Dog Patch. <laughs> Our mayor of the dog patch. This is an absolute treasure also to San Francisco. He is my friend and my compadre, and I'm excited to bring him up to say a few words. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Madam Mayor, Board President Cohen, thank you so much for expanding this opportunity to work with Sandra and her team. She's made a dramatic impact over the past two years in dog patch. Our populations doubled like other parts of the city and this type of program is sorely needed, so thank you for this uh, expansion of funding. All right, yeah. start and sweet. You know, in addition to the big belly trash cans and the fencing and the people that we're gonna hire to help us clean up the streets, we also are gonna help to purchase locks for many of the merchants who I have gotten a number of complaints. I see Karen Flood here today from Union Square where they have had a number of complaints. And so this is an incredible opportunity. Again, the goal ultimately is to keep our city safe and to keep our city clean. And I also want to acknowledge and bring up the person who manages the Fix It, who keeps all of this stuff going and who focuses on communities all over San Francisco. Sandra, come on up. Yeah. Aww. Thank you, everybody. Hi, I'm Sandra Zuniga, the Fix-It Director, and um, just wanted to thank uh, Mayor Breed, President Cohen, Bruce, and especially behind me, um, about 40 residents from 15 different neighborhoods across the city who I've worked with for the past two years. Thank you, guys. And um, the city agencies who are here, um, we, have, we have Public Works, we have the Police Department, the PUC, Rec and Park, Department of Public Health, which were on their uh, campus, and also the Department of Homelessness. So we work to um, strategize and get things done for the residents of the city, um, and all that takes a lot of teamwork. Um, I'm really, really honored to be here, uh, both with Mayor Breed and uh, President Cohen today. Uh, I am so grateful that Mayor Breed put trust in us and in the community and some of the concerns that the residents had, and she's um, provided funding so that we can do uh, creative things, different things, things that will really impact neighbors. Since Fix It started about two years ago, um, we didn't know if we would be successful or what would happen or if residents would catch on and like us or not. But I'm super proud to say that to date, we've met with over 1,300 residents in their neighborhoods. Yes. And um, we've uh, started a, a 3,800 fixes and completed 3,800 fixes across the city in 29 different neighborhoods. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Um, I myself have facilitated uh, with my team, uh, Cassie, I, and Ronnie, um, and Lydia. So we've facilitated 55 community meetings and 55 walks in neighborhoods. And we're just on the ground um, really listening, listening to our residents and finding out uh, what they care most about and how we can help them. So um, I'm 
so thankful um, and grateful for Mayor Breed, uh, again, for her investment in things that we know are going to work. We have our downtown streets team coming to the, help the mission. We're going to put lights. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to put lights um, all over San Francisco um, on pedestrian lighting, uh, solar lighting. Uh, we're going to we have about funding for about 450 of those lights coming in. So every neighborhood is going to be lit up so that pedestrians feel safer walking um, the sidewalks. We're going to start with um, President Cohen's district and work on Hudson Avenue, but more details to come. So um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you all. <laughs> Great, place to start. Great, yeah, great place to start, right? Um, so we're excited. We're excited to fix more stuff, and we're excited to get to work. So again, thank you all for coming, and thank you all, to, especially to my residents and the city agencies. We can't do it without any of you. Our resident engagement is the most important part of the Fix It program, and so just big thank you to everybody, and of course, Mayor Breed for this very important, very needed uh, investment in our city. So thank you all. Yeah. And um, one more thing, sorry. <laughs> Um, we're going to end now, but I just wanted to let you know, Potrero, I started working in Potrero about a year ago, and we did a lot of fixes, a lot of changes. We put in new staffing to help with the street cleanliness. One thing we forgot to do was change around the trash cans, so we've got that fixed today. Um, we got new trash cans all along Potrero, and we're going to um, have Mayor Breed help me unveil one right here um, down the stairs. So I will yeah. take her down there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And last but not least, make sure that you call 311 because that data helps us decide on places that we will invest in in this city. Please don't forget, 311, you can also download the app. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, all right.